That's not a good sound. Ooh, 3,000 miles. Oh, yeah, we're a little low. Body, baby, show me. <laughs> So the GoPro keeps dying, so I'm gonna have to do this old school. So, my first time driving the Equinox. <laughs> this should be rather interesting. Um, everyone said I should be fine taking my truck, but my mom, being my mom, wanted me to take her car just to make sure that I made it fine. So, yeah, first time driving this car. I've never drove my mom's daily drivers. I've only driven my car and uh, the Mustang once. So this is like the newest car I've ever driven. No, I've driven Michael's car, Michael's Charger. That's the newest car I've ever driven. I've driven loosely because I only drove around my neighborhood, so. Anyway, guys, today's video was supposed to be a POV, as you guys saw, but now we have to do it this way because thanks DVP Power for, or DVP Power, DV Power for making a camera with the world's crappiest battery life. I literally can only get about one or two shoots out of that camera before the battery's dead on it. And I, it's funny as I haven't used it in a while and I charged it last time I used it. Um, so why it keeps dying so there's a lot of jump cuts in this video but today's video is about what my ideal dream car would be so a lot of you guys who've been subscribed for a while have known i've been working on my sport track for the longest time trying to do a like fast build with it but i've had a lot of like contemplation the last few weeks and you guys may have even gotten the hint of that in my last video um that i'm tempted to just retire it to daily use um make it look as good as possible making a show truck and then get a second project car that's my actual horsepower build because let's be real the 4.0 isn't that capable and um I'm, I'm afraid for the investment i'm gonna have to make speaking of sport tracks there's a gen 2 right in front of me that my p of u camera was working we would get on video but of course it's not um yeah the uh the whole idea is the whole problem is is for the amount of money we have to invest about six to seven to eight thousand dollars i would need would the return be enough? Would the money I'm spending be enough to satisfy that um, that want for horsepower? That number, that horsepower number, I should say. Would that horsepower number be enough to satisfy what I'm wanting out of the truck? Probably not. Uh, let's just be real. The 4.0 is not capable of anything more than 350, 400 horsepower. So I'm wanting 600 plus. I'm wanting a a demon fighter of sorts. I'm wanting a car that can rival the modern muscle cars that everyone just loves. You know, the Dodge Demon, the Camaro Z01, the Corvette ZR1. I want a car with that level of horsepower. And unfortunately, without a 5.0 swap and without thousands upon thousands of dollars invested into the sport track, it's incapable. It's not going to do it. So, my idea is just retire to daily use for now drive it, make it look as clean as possible, do a, a bunch of cosmetic stuff. That's one thing I haven't done a lot of the truck lately is cosmetics. The truck has been a purely, I guess you could say, balanced build for the last like two years. You know, I do one a cosmetic, I do one performance, kind of that, ideal, uh, that ideology. And I haven't done a lot of cosmetic work since lowering the truck. It looks exactly the same from the day we lowered it. So uh, my friend Josh is coming up from Florida probably in July after I get back from my, my next Florida trip. Or not coming up from Florida. Coming up from South Georgia. Forgot he doesn't live in Florida anymore. Uh, he's coming up from South Georgia. So um, we'll be doing a full custom headlight on the truck, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait to do that with him because uh, he's a really cool dude. He's, I've known him for a couple years now, and he's I consider a really close friend, even though I've only met him in person once. But uh, yeah, so what are my ideal project cars that would be alongside the truck? Because let me say, make that clear now. As I just said, the truck, if I go this route, is not leaving. It's not getting sold. It's not getting traded. It is going to be alongside this new car, regardless of what it is. Because the truck has been the bell cow for this channel for so many years. It's been, it was my first car. Oh, wow, this thing actually, like, it's one of those cars, I guess it's because this is the first time I'm driving it. I'm looking down, I'm going a lot faster than I thought I would be for that little bit of stretch right there. Um, and this thing makes 170 horsepower, so I don't know why I'm, like, freaking out that much. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to pull up the auto zone, so I'm probably just going to cut this clip off here. And we'll actually get into the top of this video on the way back. Alright, got the oil. Time to get back to the house. And we can finish this video up before I actually go to Hayden's. So... 
I really could have just done a car review on this car, couldn't I? My mom's been wanting me to actually do a video with this car for a while now. He's been like wanting me to film a review on this thing, so. <laughs> Let me just get backed on out of here and we'll get back into where this video was supposed to be. So my neighbor was actually here, part next to me. So Michael, if you're watching this, I got you a client. So you're welcome. <laughs> so anyway, guys, today's video, what is gonna be my ideal car to go alongside the truck? I have a timeline set on when I wanna get this car, but I'm not gonna reveal that to you just yet. Only one subscriber knows the timeline I have an idea for. So what is that ideal car gonna be? So I'm currently wanting a muscle car. I'm in my muscle car phase. So I've got two cars in mind and I've seen a couple of these on Craigslist that are like stupid clean. Um, a, 2000, a 99 to 04 Mustang GT and a 86 to 96 or 84 to 96 Corvette. Why are those two cars? The Mustang is the more modern one and you guys know I love my Mustangs. I'm a new edge fanboy through and through. The Cobra is still my number two dream car behind only the Supra. And uh, <laughs> I unfortunately don't have Terminator money, <laughs> but uh, I'd like to think I do. I'm using my mom's phone clip right now, so it's a little bit sway. It sways a lot. Um, but the two valve is such is such a problem motor for me. You guys know I, I hate the two valve. I really do. It's not my favorite motor, but I've come to the conclusion that with a little bit of extra work, you can make power. The same kind of work I have to do to my truck to make it make 450 to 500 horsepower, the truck, the car will be making 600 to 700 to maybe even 800 horsepower, maybe 800. I don't know that much of the two valve to say that's a guarantee, but I've heard, I've heard it's, po it's pretty possible for them to hit over 600 to 700 horsepower. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't want really much more than 700. I don't want a thousand horsepower car. I want something that's borderline unusable on the road, but can still kind of be used on the road, kind of. It's spinning, and then you'll probably, you'll probably pass the speed limit for spinning. But um, so that's 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 one of the two first two. The C4 is because I really like Corvettes. I not gonna lie, I love Corvettes. They're my favorite Chevy. Um, funny, I'm talking about one driving one right now, and I would have. I wish I, I still. I seriously wish I had the POV working. I prefer the POV to this. Um, I, I've really liked Corvettes from a young age, and the C4 is the most affordable Corvette right now. I can get. A C4 or a two valve, and they're the same exact price range as each other. So it costs just as much for me to buy either one. Uh, the problem is, a C4 is in the five grand price range that I'm targeting, have 150 plus thousand miles on them. So high mileage for a Corvette. The Mustangs, anywhere between 100 to 130. So the Mustangs have less miles. I did find one already, like I was saying, that if I had the money right now, it'd be in the garage. I mean, it was absolutely clean like it's probably one of the cleanest new edges i've seen so with all that said one of those two cars will probably be coming to a roast tires near you soon I'm not, i can't give a timeline when because i'm still saving up i don't even have remotely enough saved up yet but that's kind of my plan right now and the reason i'm choosing five grand as my cap is because that gives me where i can make my final decision and either way and i'll be able to do it right then and there because five grand is how much it's gonna cost, at least base price, for me to build my truck's motor at a, at a cheap shop, boost it, and get maybe dynoed, maybe dynoed. I, I can't guarantee that. Five grand is also the price where I can get a C4 or a SN95 Mustang GT. And I mean, obviously there are other cars in contention. I was looking at 240SXs. I don't like Nissan as a company. The Z and the GTR just aren't my thing anymore. I, the GTR is just, too, I uh, dare I say, boring. It's not really that cool to me. The Z hasn't had an update in about <clears throat> how long, and it's just the VQ has never been my my. Well, I mean, I, I say never been. I used to be. I used to like the VQs back in the day, but they're not my thing anymore. That's kind of just how it is. Um, and I mean, there's lots of other import cars that I want that I just can't afford right now. And uh, if I could, I would. But for five, there's not too many imports I'm too fond of. I'm almost in Genesis Coupe range at that point, which would be my, my import choice. I love the Genesis Coupe. I mean, Hayden's car was absolutely awesome. And this is something I'm gonna do very often is pull in the garage. So this is strange. 
but yeah so i guess i'll just turn the car off and just sit here for a minute so yeah my ideal dream car is currently my ideal dream car my ideal project car is currently a sn95 mustang gt and a c4 corvette um, if you guys have any other cool suggestions, obviously, like I said, I don't have the money to make the purchase right now. And I have a timeline set of when I would like to have the money to buy the car. Um, like I said, only one subscriber knows. So um, that's guy, that guy's been around for a long time. So the only reason that guy knows is uh, he talked to me on Instagram. So I feel like a couple other subscribers too, they, they messaged me asking about it. I might tell them what I have planned. But uh, yeah, that's kind of that. So I know this video is rather short, uh, probably not with the POV clips that we're in because I had to deal with this oil issue. Um, sport track content, like I said, if I go that route is not done. It's not over. It's just not going to be heavily performance. And there's still performance stuff I want to do to the truck. I still have headers to install. I want to put gears in the truck. I want to make it a little, like, a little more punchy and more fun as a daily. I, I debated going in full bolt-ons and that'd be where I stop. I still have a 80 millimeter throttle body for a two valve I can put on it. Or just save if I get a two valve. Because I could just do that right off the bat. <laughs> um, how many would I do? Because I mean, if I'm getting a two valve, I might use the two valve, in, the two valve throttle body on the two valve. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'm sorry this video was so short. Uh, I was originally going to do like a whole like uh, montage of all my intros, but I don't know. I just didn't really feel like doing it right now. I just, eh, it feels cheap. It feels like a cheap, done video, filler content. So with all that said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more, more sport track content in the coming weeks. Um, I've got college orientation next week, so that's going to be a hectic day, um, as well as uh, we're going to Florida in a couple weeks, so... Um, I'm probably going to film a lot of videos in advance because usually my family trips I don't like vlogging on. So, all I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you.